Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to discuss with you inter-processor communication and synchronization for multiprocessor system. Topic of computer organization and architecture. First of all, uh, in a multiprocessing environment, processor implies parallelism by concurrent processing. Concurrent processing means uh, there are more than one process uh, executed simultaneously in same processor or in different processor. Uh, it may be simultaneously or it may not be simultaneously. So we can say one process uh, execution is going on uh, before complete this process execution second process will be start. It is called concurrent process. The concurrent processing requires sharing of resources between the processors and interprocessor communication. So it is required uh, sharing of resources in concurrent processing. Basically, there are two ways by which uh, interprocess communication is achieved. First one is using shared variable and second one is using message passing. Now let's see both the method. First, using shared variable. In this system, shared variable are stored in common memory. In figure, we can say that there are different processor communicate with uh, uh, common memory. We can say shared memory and variable is stored inside the memory. If variable access by all the processor connected with uh, shared memory so this variable is called said variable uh, which is accessible to all processor inside the system while sharing common resource or said variable conflict may arise so for example processor a access any said variable from the common memory and execution is going on with the help of this said variable at that time processor b also required the same said variable so it is called conflict problem uh, in IP uh, said variable system it is necessary to prevent conflict use of shared resources by several processors this task is done by operating system so we can say that prevention is uh, required because if a prevention will not be done at that time uh, one process will be uh, stopped and uh, it generates some errors first one master slave operating system second one separate operating system and third one is distributed operating system now let's see uh, this three operating system in detail first master or slave operating system is like that in this system processor that execute the operating system function is called master so we can say that uh, in operating system when one processor is main processor it executes the, all the functions of operating system so it is called master and the other processors are called the slave so this kind of operating system is called master slave operating system when slave needs operating system service it request it by interrupting the masters so using the using in said variable so slave interrupt master for the variables uh, uh, master and slave both are required same uh, variable uh, first priority given will be to the master second one separate operating system in each processor has entire copy of the operating system can be execute operating system function this organization is more suitable for loosely coupled system so we can say that uh, in uh, in separate operating system there are processor and local memory are available in each module so there is no, no uh, problem arise in conflict of the said variable the third one distributed operating system in this operating system routines are distributed among the available processors so such type of operating system is also known as floating operating system so it is very helpful in distributed uh, applications third one uh, sorry next uh, pro, uh, next method is ipc using message passing uh, in multiprocessor system with no shared memory, we use message passing mechanism to perform interprocess communication. Now, in this figure, you can see this is processor A and this is processor B. Uh, both are sender, both are receiver. So, this channel uh, will show the bi directional arrows. So, message will be sent and received by both the processors. So, this is communication channel. And now see, uh, when processor wants to communicate uh, with another processor, uh, for example, A wants to communicate with B, it uses a special processor which initiates communication. So, special processor, uh, it initiates the communication and then it identifies the destination processor. So, processor A wants to communicate with processor B. So, processor A will be sender and processor B will be destination. So, processor A will identify 
the destination it means uh, identify the processor b and once source and destination process are identified a communication channel is established when both are uh, identified and both are ready to send and receive the message at that time communication channel will be established between them a message is then sent through the communication channel so message will be passed through this established communication channel now Inter after interprocess communication, interprocessor synchronization is the most important. So, at the higher level of parallelism, so we can say there are uh, more than one or uh, more than two processes uh, execution at same time. The program is partitioned into the process that are executed in different processors. Uh, this technique is called concurrent processing. We are already discussed before this concurrent processing. During concurrent processing, when two or more processors need the same resource at the same time the contention problem arises such problem can be resolved by synchronization so we have already discussed like that uh, processor a wants one said variable processor b also wants same uh, variable uh, during the execution of process at that time contention problem arises so synchronization will be solved this uh, problem to achieve synchronization a set of hardware primitive are used to automatically read and modify the memory location without any interruption between the two operations so uh, variable will be modified but uh, there is no problem arise in between two operations so it will be used in interprocess synchronization such mechanisms are necessary to protect data from being changed simultane uh, simultaneously by two or more processors. This mechanism is known as mutual exclusion. So this is the definition of mutual exclusion. <clears throat> A program sequence which access the said resources one begun must complete execution before another process access the same said variable so this is the very important task uh, one will be begun uh, it executes at that time second one will be also execute or will be start so it will be decided which one is used the first said variable and thus program sequence which access the said memory is known as critical section of the program Interprocess communication done by mutual exclusion. So we have already seen over here. This is the mutual exclusion to protect the data from being changed simultaneously with semaphore and mutual exclusion using load and store condition instruction. This both method is used uh, for uh, protect the data from being changed simultaneously by two or more processors. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube. Chirag Baloria. Please press bell icon to get new video notification. Thank you.